This is the story about a boy from Henryville, Indiana. In 1895, when he was six years old, his father passed away. His mother had to start working in a tomato cannery, leaving him to cook and care for his siblings. Life hit him hard at a very young age, and because of the difficult situation he faced, he had to work as a farmhand at the age of 10. When he was in sixth grade, he dropped out of high school and left his home. He started working as a painter of horse carriages. When he was 16, he faked his age to enlist in the US Army. After being honorably discharged a year later, he started working as a railway laborer and studied law at the nearby university, until he ruined his legal career by getting into a fight. He was forced to move back in with his mom and get a job selling life insurances. After some time, he got fired for not following orders. Some years later, he established a ferry boat company and it was an instant success. Later on, he tried cashing in on his ferry boat business to create a chemical lamp manufacturing company, only to find out that another company was already selling electric lamps, much better than his company's lamps. All this hardship in life, but this guy wouldn't give up. He moved to work as a salesman for tire company. But again, he lost his job when the company closed its manufacturing plant. By the age of 40, he met the general manager of an oil company, who asked him to run a service station for him. But the station had to close down again as a result of the Great Depression. That same year, the Shell Oil Company offered him a service station, rent-free, in return for paying the company a percentage of sales. He started operating the service station and also began to serve chicken dishes and other simple meals for people who were stopping by at the station. His pan-fried chicken soon became a favorite with the people of the area and made him famous in the region. A few years later, he took out the station and started a proper restaurant. After fairly succeeding at this venture, he started to advertise his food. And to his shock, an argument erupted out of the blue with a local competitor and resulted in a fatal shootout with one of his employees dying. Four years later, he bought a motel next to his chicken restaurant hoping for better business, but it caught fire and burned down to the ground together with his restaurant. Yet this ambitious man rebuilt and ran a new motel with a 140-seat restaurant, until World War II forced him to close it down again. When war had ended, he tried selling his recipes to other restaurants. His recipe was rejected 1009 times, when finally, in 1952, he sold his secret recipe, Kentucky Fried Chicken, for the first time to the operator of one of the city's largest restaurants. It quickly became a hit and as a result, several other restaurant owners franchised the concept and paid him 4 cents per chicken. However, good times didn't last very long. His own restaurant was crippled when an interstate highway reduced customer traffic. He sold it and was left only with his savings and $105 a month from Social Security. So finally, he pursued his dream to franchise his chicken concept nationwide and traveled the US looking for suitable restaurants. He opened a new restaurant and a company headquarters in 1959. He often slept in the back of his car, he visited restaurants, offered to cook his chicken, and if the owners liked it, then he negotiated a franchise right. In 1965, at the age of 75, he was just getting started. After years of rejection, failures, misfortunes, Colonel Sanders' franchise approach became highly successful. KFC was one of the first fast food chains to expand globally, opening outlets in Canada, UK, Mexico and Jamaica by the mid-1960s. The Colonel remained the company's symbol after selling it. He traveled over 400,000 kilometers a year visiting KFC restaurants and delighting customers around the world. At the age of 90, Colonel Sanders passed away. At that time, there were around 6,000 KFC locations in 48 different countries. In 2018, there were 22,621 KFC restaurants worldwide. If you are overwhelmed by rejection or discouraged by setbacks, 
Remember the story of Colonel Sanders, a sixth grade dropout, fired from multiple jobs, ruined his legal career, set back by the Great Depression, fire, and World War II. And yet, he became the world's most famous cook after reaching retirement age. Colonel Sanders, the creator of one of the largest fast food chains in the world, was many things. But above all, he was a great success story. With his story, we can learn that despite of thousands of rejections and misfortunes, how dedication, along with hard work, can create success, regardless of age. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.